clear after the first full week at the State House, education reform will be the focus this session. Flanked by two of his education advisors, Governor Otter sat down for an exclusive interview with our own Michelle Edmonds. Her candid conversation with the governor is a special making the grade. During his State of the State address, the governor used the phrase, Idaho learns, more than a half dozen times. But what does that really mean to him? Once again tonight, I go in-depth with the governor on a number of education issues with Idaho Education News reporter Kevin Richard. In the perspective, it's $101 million. Uh, it's 7.4%, and the budget, the total budget, is 5.2. So our emphasis, I believe, is in the right place, our heart's in the right place, and the money's going in the right place. Can you bring it down to the level of what does it mean for my kid when you say you're going to put 7.4% more funding into education? Well, we're putting funding in in a different way, too. You have to remember that. We, we put a lot more funding in to improving our classroom capabilities. Uh, the professional training, the amount of money, out of the $101 million uh, of money, the 7.4%, uh, restoring some of the operational funds that we removed uh, during the recession. As you'll recall, the task force said about $16.5 million a year will get us back there if we make these kind of payments. We're ahead of schedule uh, on that. Uh, once again, the professional training, I think $17 million in there for, pro for professional training. That's more money for the teacher in the classroom to continue to improve. Well, let me get your sense as to why you feel it's critical to move this year on career licensure and career ladder. Well, we have a historic opportunity to raise teacher salaries. I think this is a once in a generation opportunity and we cannot miss this opportunity to raise these salaries. We need to pay our effective teachers more money so that we can keep them in the Idaho classrooms. But you need to understand that with the opportunity to earn more money, there's also accountability. I believe the legislature will demand that. And without accountability, without that piece, I think it will be very difficult to, uh, to bring this kind of additional money into salaries for teachers. I, I agree with John, uh, and uh, the expectations that we have is that we are going to be able to defend any additional monies that we spend in education because of the accountability uh, and meeting certain expectations as a result of requiring that accountability. Now, now Governor, there are, there are folks in the education communities, in the business community, in the legislature who would probably want to see K through career be more pre-K through career. Well, why, why isn't pre-K part of the equation that you laid out this week? Pre-K is important. I've got to deal with what I've got. And right now, I've got K through career. And so, and we've got a good plan. So as long as we work and focus on that plan and not add anything to it for a while, uh, then, and maybe we can add that as we become more confident in the success of the plan in a year or two. Governor, when we talk about your legacy, with these being your last four years on a five-year plan for education, do you think education and what happens in this state becomes your legacy as governor? You know, it, it may well. Uh, I have just put a lot of importance uh, on education. Idaho on your side is committed to covering education, not only during this session, but in the future. Reporting from the Capitol, Michelle Edmonds, Idaho on your side.